Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Today we're going to check out a game called Dungeon of the Endless. I'm going to play the Switch port of it. This looked interesting. I haven't checked it out beyond seeing the trailer. So let's go ahead and begin a brand new game. And uh, let's see what it's all about. So spaceship success, penal transport, speed, position, status, prisoners. So it looks like we have... Alright. Escape pod. All right, so choose your difficulty, and I have it on easy. Um, I have that s s pod. Which character can we choose from? Uh, let's choose this Arnold Schwarzenegger. And there we go. Sarah Nummus and Thug. All right. Look at this pixel sprites. Look at that. I'm digging that. I like this neo retro vibe that some of these games have nowadays. You know, it looks really cool. It's crazy. You see it a lot from indie developers and stuff like that. So, oh, look at this. It is a top down game. Push A. We're entering this room. Plus 11. I don't know what the plus 11 did, but. It's kind of like a point and click a little bit, and you're able to switch between your heroes, have them navigate. Okay, so we can go down or up. Let's, uh, oh, something attacking me? Let's go ahead and come into the room so she's not alone. Okay, I guess my thug dude didn't help out at all, but let's open it up. Something there. He has a big gun. Everything auto attack, so okay. Um, build menu. Okay, I guess that's a way of. Uh... Huh. I built a module. I have no idea what a module does. Let's see. Okay, I don't think I can build anything else, so let's go ahead. Quit construction mode. We'll go up. So this is interesting. Playing a little different. Analyze. Nope, can't do that one. Let's do that one. I'm still trying to get the figure of this. It's kind of like a weird point and click type of game. I like the, the graphic art style for sure. Alright, what's going on here? I bought them some gear, so that's cool. Um... Sure, is this like my home base or what's going on here? Don't look like I'm able to build anything. I think it might actually play like a little bit of a tower defense game if I'm not mistaken. A new module. we can do anything else here so let's go ahead head back can I do anything in this room hmm doesn't look like it oh but there is a room that I have not gone in so let's go Right. Interesting. Am I able to move around? Where's my other hero at? I just lost my one guy in combat. Oh my gosh. I have no clue what I'm doing here. 
I think I might have accidentally skipped the tutorial. I gotta go over here. I gotta protect the crystal, apparently. I have no idea what's going on here. A lot of enemies were attacking it though, what the heck? Can I recover my guy? I don't think I can. Um, very interesting. Let's see if maybe I could. I have no idea what I just used. Prisoner prod. Alright, so I just added a prisoner prod. Not exactly sure what a prisoner prod does, but we're there. Okay. I don't have any. See, you get a certain amount of items and coins and stuff, I guess. I don't have enough items to proceed all right I guess let's just head out oh gosh I hope I don't die <laughs> I'm sure this game takes a lot a lot of uh, trial and error so it is I think it does have a roguelike um, type of vibe to it I definitely lost <laughs> that was a lot that was interesting I could I could see the potential here it's just you know of course with any game like this you have to strategize a little bit this is easy mode too there was too easy and easy I didn't see normal or anything like that so that's gonna be interesting to see what happens um I'm still trying to figure out exactly what's going on I think I might have accidentally skipped the tutorial somehow or something no clue so this is our floor game pause so you can move one character at a time and then you're both able to oh it's procedurally generated too or what like I there was a table in that room. Um, you could only have one character in a room at a time. Um, not entirely sure what's going on there, but let's go ahead. Let's see what's there. There's a chest. All right. Toothpick added to my inventory. What am I, Razor Ramon? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, what the hell? Okay, here we go. There's the cr a big module what does this do food replicator I can't do any of that can't do any of that research yet let's go back to this room let's check that build menu I think the idea is to science food let's do some uh, some offense exactly that's doing but building some offense <laughs> whatever that does I'm assuming in the long run we'll be able to use this room attack people I guess 
Is that the vibe I'm getting? Anyways, we'll go up. This isn't exactly like anything I've played, by the way. Okay, I got both my heroes in the room. I wish I could move the camera a little bit more freely. Doesn't seem like there's a way. That's all right. right by I just lost my Dino ratchet she's a ratchet guys all right um, I'm still puzzled I think I'm moving a little bit too quickly. I think I need to come back. Avoid. How do you freely move? You can't. I think I'm about to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this game is kind of challenging. But it's interesting. It has me intrigued. This is my high scores here. It's easy mode, so that's interesting. Let's see what else. It's an album. Journal. I'm very interested to see exactly. See, difficulty only has easy and too easy. I wonder if you unlock harder modes. I don't know. Either way, this does have me intrigued, kind of. It does have roguelike and roguelite elements and stuff. Has anybody watching this played the game before? Let me know. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This was Dungeon of the Endless. It just came out um, on the Switch today, so. Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace out. And uh, stay safe.